Hello truckers, welcome back to American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. We are somewhere in eastern Montana because Montana has no cities on this map for some reason. 8 o'clock at night, we're going to bed. Wake up at 6 and do the thing and get to Fargo sometime today. Ooh, a little bit of income coming in. Uh, driver Mini-Me, <laughs> I don't think that's what their name is, but it's Mini-M. Um, brought in $1,000 overnight, we appreciate that. Uh, Mack truck is full of fuel, diesel fuel. Uh, and six o'clock in the morning, let's back up. Hopefully no one's behind us. Do a double check on the mirrors here. I really don't see anyone behind us, so we're just gonna start backing up a little bit. If there is a truck going around us or a car. There we go, that should be good enough for us. Uh, let me go ahead and get rolling here and get this delivered, hopefully by noon today. Is that is that our goal? Um, what time? It is saying 2.46 by the time I get there, but I think it's going to be a little bit faster than that. At least I hope so. Ah, I get to watch the sunrise in the east. Come on, guys. Just roll on out there. Don't make me... Alright, you're going to make me stop, aren't you? Alright, so i got to refresh myself. 60,000 pounds is what we're hauling. Okay. Uh, that's good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We're all good. We're going to get paid six grand to get there. Well, once we get there... And traffic everywhere. Don't don't make me go in the breakdown lane. Just merge my way out there. Yeah, we're gonna be here forever if we wait because traffic. There's no opening there. I hate doing this, but sometimes you know, you just gotta take matters into your own hands. And sneak your way out there just like that, because we want to get there so we can turn and burn, turn and burn. So right away to Fargo, North Dakota is way on the eastern side of North Dakota and hopefully today by doing this delivery sorry I'm just pausing for a second because it looks like we may have some, some construction up ahead we got road work ahead that's fine uh, as long as it's not going to be I mean there cannot be any detours because there's no place to flip and detour on this I think we're on I-94 is where we're at down to 55 all right so we're kind of we're kind of going 55 right now not really sure what you guys are doing there but um, good work excellent work you guys are doing so today could be the day we hit level 20 but yeah there's a but we're not gonna be anywhere near where we're gonna buy a garage so I'm hoping when we drop this off in Fargo that we have a load going somewhere to Colorado that'd be good and hopefully wherever we go in Colorado when we get there well, whenever we get there, there'll be a garage there. We can purchase the garage and start the whole hiring driver thing. Uh, we'll do 72 miles an hour, which is kind of pushing it on the speed. Actually, that's that, that would definitely be a ticket if there's a cop around here that sees us. But I want to get there. Uh, what time are they expecting it? Oh, they're not expecting it until... I got to like 9 o'clock tonight. But that's, uh, we better get there by then because we call it quits at 5. So that should not be a problem. But, yeah, we need about 2,000 experience points to get up to level 20. And if we don't get it when we get to Fargo, no problem, because by the time we get back to wherever it is that we're going afterwards, we'll be at level 20. Then we can go ahead and borrow that million dollars and start building up our, do I want to call it a corporation, just a trucking company, whatever, and uh, get more drivers on the road, do that whole shebang kind of a thing. But in the meantime, yeah, we got to cruise on over to North Dakota zip on through there and like I said fingers crossed uh, we get a load going somewhere to Colorado somewhere in that general area if not we'll kind of like do hop skips and jumps to get there if I have to um, but definitely not going towards the east coast we gotta get back to the, the base maps so we can purchase ourselves a garage when we get there uh, so 217 in the afternoon is when I expect it I hope the sun comes up because for that sun's kind of low and the glare this morning is just a little bit off-putting just a little bit. So I don't think we have many drivers, if I remember correctly, that will be delivering a load during the day. Maybe one. We had one overnight, but maybe one today. Uh, we do have that one driver, and I, I forgot what his name is. Is it Chris? I'm not, I'm not sure if it's Chris or not. We have a driver that's this. yeah, he's not really, doesn't seem to be pulling his weight here uh, in the company. I mean, he's bringing in cash, but... The money he's earning per mile is not the greatest. I'm not sure why. 
there always seems to be, if I remember, I got, I got like, well, three other profiles, I guess. I got, actually I only got two other profiles, right? Two, three. Uh, but anyhow, uh, there's always that one driver that's, you know, got a good rating, but you look at the dollars per mile that he's earning, or she's earning, and it's like, I'm like, what's the deal? Why aren't you earning cash? You're just taking like the cheapest loads you can find in every town that you're going to? What's the deal there? Yeah, I'm not too sure, so we just let it go. Um, I mean, they're bringing in the cash, not much you can do about it. I mean, I could, I could fire the driver, hire a different one, but then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let it go. Just gonna let it go, let him do what he does, and maybe at some point, uh, he will turn himself around and bring in the cash. So, yeah, we're gonna get $6,000 ourselves today by delivering this tub grinder. I think it's what it's called, tub grinder. Um, I probably should kind of look when we get there. We are going to Fargo. I know that it's Union Pacific. I don't know what it is, but we seem to be doing a lot of loads to Union Pacific. Are we coming up another construction site zone area? Um, that's going to suck because it's usually going to be my lane that's always kind of closed, right? And this sign's going to tell me, no, it's the other lane that's closed. Uh, slow down to 55, they say. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, sure. Uh, 72, is that close enough? I mean, I'll, I'll get down the breakdown lane a little bit. Not, not hit the sign, though. Don't want to hit the sign. There we go. So I'm also hoping when we go, get to Fargo and get a load, like I said, I'm hoping Colorado-ish is where we're going. Um, we're going to go a different route. Going through Montana, like I said, I, I forgot to check. I just My brain just clicked like, hey, forgot to check the Coast to Coast uh, link to see if there's been any updates to it because Montana used to have cities in it. So I'm not sure. It must be reworking it or not too sure. I don't really read the form anymore. I just kind of go follow the link and see well, when the last update he has uploaded for. And if it's recent enough, it's like, yeah, I probably need the updated one. Uh, forgot to check. Forgot to check because I'm just too darn excited to get into the game. Get this load to Fargo and see if we hit level 20. But like I said, yeah, the excitement will be, yeah, we hit level 20, but uh, yeah, not going to buy a garage in Fargo. I'm pretty sure there is a garage in Fargo. Not going to do it. Uh, I guess I... Hmm. The other thing I had to check also is to make sure the paint scheme that I have... Yes, the side skirts are going to be the problem. I'm not sure if I got the side skirts available at level 20. Unfortunately, I'm testing it on my other profile because I need to be over level 20 to get the 70-inch cab. The high cab. And I don't know what level I need I needed to be to unlock the side skirts that I did the paint job for. So yeah, my other profile I'm level 70, so I'm definitely high enough. But it doesn't tell you once you unlock it what level you needed to be to unlock it. So I'll have to test that between episodes. If it doesn't, uh, if it's not unlocked, it's not a big deal. I'll have to redo the paint job a little bit on another another template and have to take care of all that. But that shouldn't take too long. But we will get the paint job up and going for this. And we won't be driving a plain Mac white truck. Which is nothing wrong with it. But, you know, white is this kind of... Yeah, it's just, it's just plain. We need, we, need some, we need some jazz and spaz and, and colors and whatnot. Now, I, I, after I, uh, we get the paint job on this truck. And I drive it around a bit. And maybe just a little bit too... Might be too much on it, I guess is what I want to say. So, but we'll go with it for a little bit. Uh, see what you guys think of it. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna leave it as is and see what you guys think of it. If it's too much or if it's not enough, or well, I, I can't see. I can't see anyone saying it's not enough. Anywho, anywho. All right. So, okay, we're not really chugging in on the time today. It's only eight. We'll be driving two and a half hours. We are gonna get there at one thirty. Oh, speed limit is seventy five through here. It must be we hit North Dakota. Montana used to be just as fast, so I'm not sure. Like I said, they must be reworking Montana over. Now, I wonder, I don't think, I don't think the Coast to Coast map uh, editors are lucky enough to get, like, the Wyoming DLC kind of early, so they can kind of see where it's going to link up to. Because I, I used to be, when the DLCs would come out for the state, I know it would take them like a day or two for them to get, uh, to connect the roads from the new map to the coast to coast map. It takes like a day or two, sometimes not even that long. Uh, they're pretty darn good about getting it out ASAP. 
so just have to make sure when Wyoming comes out. I, that's one thing I did check before I started recording is to see, I went to the Steam page for Wyoming just to see if there was a release date announced that I just kind of missed and there's nothing there. So, yeah, I mean, usually they announce it a month before it comes out. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. They announced it a while ago and they even announced Texas as the state after that. But uh, they could surprise us. They could surprise us with both states within a matter of weeks of each other. Who knows? But at some point, when those states come out, yes, I will be getting the, the DLCs and we'll be rocking around those states when they come out just to see what's on the up and up. And of course, with every DLC that they come out with, there's always Steam achievements. And that's another thing I kind of shoot for when I play games a lot is the Steam achievements. Now, there's so many of them ATS right now. I just, I would like to get them done. But I don't, I don't go out of my way to be like, okay, I got delivered to all the logging sites in or Oregon. I remember that was like one of the achievements or something like that. Uh, I, I start doing it. It's like, yeah, let's not, uh, we get it done, we get it done. But it's always fun to see like you completed an achievement. It makes you feel good inside. back over into the lane where we belong under 200 miles to go I was hoping to get there by noon today oh a couple grand from Harry P so yes I think that's Harry P that I was talking about earlier who's not bringing in the cash like he should he leveled up so that's going to help out for whatever he's putting a star into at this point but I think he was going from like somewhere in North Carolina back to Alamosa is that the run that he does that is a long ride for only two grand. So, yeah. I wonder... Maybe I will have to look at the truck that he has to see. Maybe maybe I gotta get him a better truck or something. Maybe that's part of the problem. I'm not too sure. Um, hello, Bismarck. How are you doing today? We are now definitely in North Dakota. And I think Bismarck is halfway through. a big bump on that bridge there. It scared the crap out of me a little bit there. <laughs> thought I was hitting something. Like an invisible wall, but as we've seen a couple times where I hit invisible walls. It's not just a bump. It's a, it's, it's, it's an earth-shattering bang and you're, and you're there. But it's nice to see some foliage and some scenery here, but as soon as we leave Bismarck, it's going to be gone again and we're not going to see it until we get to Fargo. Now, like I said, we are going to try to avoid coming back the same direction back to the West Coast. Like I said, really hoping for a load going to Colorado. So, if we get a load going to Colorado, we can hit, uh, you know, go from North Dakota down through South Dakota, maybe into Nebraska, and take the I-70 in Nebraska into Colorado, which would be good if we're going to Denver. That's something we could do. I'm, but I'm going to be afraid that the, the scenery is going to be kind of the same. But you know, we'll cover more of the roads. Well, there goes the grass, and here comes the soil. I think uh, this will be like the Badlands. We're kind of in that general area. They call it the Badlands, I think. only been through here once before in my life on the road, so couldn't quite... It's been a while. It's been a long while. Yes, yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, definitely, like I said, you know, I've been talking for quite a while now. Getting up to 1120, but I'm excited not only for getting, you know, more drivers on the road, getting more money coming in, but excited for... We've had the Mack truck now for a while. Um, at first, when I... When we pulled in, I was like, oh, we're, we're going to get a Mack truck. I was kind of like, don't know much about them. I haven't really, I mean, we test drove, a, uh, test drove. Uh, we drove for other dr truckers at the beginning of the series. We drove a Mack truck maybe once, maybe twice, something like that. I really don't remember. Uh, but if I don't remember, that means it didn't really, you know, blend into me like, you know, this is the truck you're going to want to drive. Uh, the Freightliner is the truck I definitely want to, you know, give a good world going. Uh, but when we pulled and got a Mac, it's like, oh, it is what it is. And then my heart sank when you can only get a 500 horsepower engine as the Mac's engine. But thank you to modders out there 
uh, like Johnny Cash who came up with the the Mac E9 V8 engine, and now we got a 620 horsepower engine in here. I'm loving it. Hauling the 60,000 pounds relatively with ease, but it's mostly on flat ground that we're traveling on. So, uh, but I'm going to be excited when we can uh, do all the upgrades on the Mac truck. Like I said, I've already seen the truck the way I want it designed. Uh, like I said, you know, obviously I've seen the paint scheme, but I've seen all the accessories I want to go ahead and put onto it. But like I said, I'm doing it in, in, on my other profile, which is level 70, so I might not be able to get all the accessories that I want to get when we do upgrade it. Uh, 105 miles, so I might be getting ready to go into the fast lane here. Who Who is living in this building out here? That's... <laughs> Um, that, that's the only question I got. I mean, I mean, I don't know if anyone's actually living in there, but if they are, it's the middle of nowhere. Actually, I think that was the, uh, the title and the thumbnail of the last episode, Middle of Nowhere. Because that's what it kind of feels like when we're out here, in the middle of nowhere. So I think from now on, when we do go back and forth from the east to west coast, west coast, east coast, whatever, probably stay, stay in the southern half of the country because it's, it's more done over. I'm more excited for, not the Wyoming, I, I mean, I'm, in, I'm excited for the Wyoming DLC because, you know, we've seen pictures, see some spots here and there. Well, I was doing 80 miles an hour. Interesting. I wasn't paying attention because uh, I don't have cruise control on. But I'm more interested about getting the Texas DLC, honestly. Because that will help us junction more to the southern parts. Right, let me get over here in the fast lane. Life in the fast lane. Eagles reference. Uh, this zoom on through here, 68 miles to go. Um, I'm going to get there. Like I said, I was hoping right around the noon hour and so far so good this is kind of a long-ish trailer so you know Union Pacific I wonder if they're gonna have me park around if I get the hardest difficulty parking when I get there that could be a little bit of a challenge so I have to wait and see just keep my eye on the mileage to go here because sometimes on the coast-to-coast -coast map when you're zooming along the interstate um, it may look like a lot of miles you're going and, and you're there in no time, so just keeping track of it. Because we are in the fast lane and we'll have to get over into the slow lane, but what I'm really looking looking for is, through the windshield, I'm looking for structures and stuff like I'm seeing up ahead. Uh, that tells me we're coming up on a city, which means that's probably Fargo coming up. Doing 85, hauling 60,000 pounds. Didn't even know it. That's what happens when you drive without cruise control on. Still got 36 miles to go. I think I can get around this logging truck. Because that was just the rest area we're looking at. He's putting the hammer down. I think driving 85 miles an hour with 60,000 pounds behind you, probably not the brightest idea. But then again, I never really have that many bright ideas when I'm driving, so... Hello, Ashley. How you doing today? All right, I think it's time. Now's a good time to... Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, forgot. Yep. Must be right around 1130 because our loan payments are being paid off. Oh, paid off. Yeah, I wish they were being paid off. Um, loan payment installments. Fargo. Not much that much, not much Fargo to go. Alrighty, around the corner we go, and welcome to Fargo, North Dakota. Not much really here, I don't think. GPS, tell me where I'm going, uh, other than down to 30 miles an hour. Boy, 
Boy, 30 is going to kill me after doing 85, isn't it? That's a low bridge. They want to come down into Fargo with something uh, like a modded trailer. Could cause some issues. Stop looking at the scenery, Peanut. You're going to run into someone. Have a quick look around Fargo while we're waiting for the stoplight to change. There might be a recruitment center here. Why is no one going here? Uh, look at my key. Oh, we're, no, we're going. Never mind. Light stay green for me. Nope, you're not going to. Alright, didn't think so. Uh, just to my seat. I'm not seeing many companies here, so <laughs> we're not going to have many choices. I I'm hoping that there's at least a load going somewhat south and or west or whatever. Oh, that car came way out. I'm going to clip that car. That car is way out. Why? 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 Did that AR, AI car just actually back up? And somehow I missed it. The AI car actually backed up for me. Take a picture of that. That's a payphone. A pay phone. I repeat, that was a pay phone. Uh, where? No, that's the garage. Are you going to have me back up in that tight corner? I think you are. And the way I usually approach it, I don't think I can approach it the way I want to, because this trailer is on the long side. Are we going over there? Hang on a second. Free cam. Yep, that's where we're going. It's not really blinking the best, but you kind of see it there coming to the concrete. Um... Yeah, the way I normally back in, this trailer is a little bit on the long side. I don't think I can do it the way I want to do it. I'll try it, but I'm going to just cause more trouble than not, I think. Maybe I got the room to get it started. Alright, now I just gotta get myself roughly where I need to be. Now this one is a little tricky because it's kind of on the blind side. that gas tank or propane tank? No, we're not. If the mirrors were just a little bit better, but they're better than what they used to be, that's for darn sure.
How are we doing here? Overall, not too bad. But now that I've gotten this far, we, we're going to have it... Ooh, wait a minute, I'm going to get that easy? On my first try, back in it. Well, I did hit the, the LP tank. But hey, we got ourselves a green light. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Two out of eight. One out of three. I, I don't know what that is. Level 20. How are you doing? We can now borrow money from the bank. Um, but we're not going to because I don't want to borrow money. I don't want to, I don't want to uh, pay on just yet. Um, yeah, we're trying to get more loads here. So the only thing we got left on up here. Uh, this will give us like dynamite fireworks or ammunition. Or level three will give us uh, gasoline, diesel, and kerosene. Uh, nope, take that off, put that there. We're going to do gasoline, diesel, and or kerosene. Let's go ahead and apply onto that. Well, uh, we got an email. That's going to be from the bank. Uh, we can help you grow. Um, yeah, we couldn't help but notice your, your steady earnings, and we like to assist you in developing your potential potentials even further. Your credit limit has been increased to two million. Feel free to draw from the available sum anytime. Your local bank, uh, yeah, uh, sales manager. You can at least put your name there, sales manager. We're not going to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to jump right into freight market. And please tell us out of Fargo, we got something going to. Let's go into Bismarck. Uh, that Denver, Denver, Denver. I don't even have to look because we know Denver's going to have a garage. Um, the next thing, though, what is today? Today is in-game. It's Tuesday. They're expecting it Thursday. So I got 48 hours to get there. Uh, that should be okay. A thousand miles because we can do about a thousand miles. Not a thousand miles in a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we can do like 700 miles in a day. So I got two days to get there. So technically I got like 1,400 miles. Let's go ahead and do it. It says Vistaprint. Uh, we're only getting paid 222 per mile, but you know what? That's not the whole deal. The whole deal is let's get back to the base map and that fits us out perfectly. Um, I'm not gonna look for anything. Well, I can't, there is, there is no other page. Uh, this is it. Uh, so we gotta go to Vistaprint. Hopefully it's right here in the city, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna be. Park and break. Uh, I'm in neutral. There we go. We are free. I'll tell you what, that's like one of the easiest backing up jobs I've done. Well, I just want to say easiest backing up jobs. It's one of the, the best backing up jobs I've done in a while around that corner. Um, that was like two attempts. The first attempt just barely clipped the LP tank, and the second one, like a glove. Like a glove. Let's go ahead and get the Vista print. So we won't get there today, but, but, but. Mm -hmm. Now, if we can get our mileage uh, down far enough today to where it's under 700 miles, that means we'll get to Denver tomorrow in game time. And when we get to Denver, that means drop off the load, go by the garage, well, take out the load, go by the garage, and yes, buy five trucks. Hire five drivers, and then uh, it's off to another city somewhere to where we can buy another garage, and so on and so forth. And once we get all of our drivers taken care of and all the trucks on the road, we'll probably wait like a day or two, and then uh, we'll see how the money situation is going on. Make sure the, the drivers are bringing enough cash per day, and then we can start working on upgrading our truck, putting the paint job on here, so on and so forth. And then, uh, yeah, there will be no more boring money because uh, two million is going to be our credit limit at all. So, it's just a matter of the company paying off our debts. Uh, Vista print in here. It's been a while since I've been to a Vista print. All right, hopefully it's still here. Watch someone's taking the load on me. Uh, so we're gonna be living curtains. It's curtains for you. Uh, let's go ahead and take that job. I just feel like um, 
when I was <laughs> just pausing there for a second, I was just feeling like I feel like I'm overlooking something. Like I I I may not get there in time or something. I shouldn't hesitate because, like I said, I want to get you know 300 miles on the book safe so I can get there tomorrow, which would be great. But I might be asking a little bit too much. I mean, I got five hours left in the clock, and if we do 60 miles an hour, that's 300 miles, so that's, that's kind of pushing it. So let's turn and burn. And like I said, we're not going to be taking the I-94 and I-90 back either. It's going to be a different route, but I think the scenery is going to be somewhat the same. Let me just double check that. We are going, yeah, so like I said, we're heading south right into Nebraska. So we're doing exactly what I thought we'd do. Um, we're going to jump in uh, on the I-70 somewhere in Des Moines slash uh, Omaha. Is that I-70? Yeah, it's I-70. No, this is I-80. That's I-80. Sorry, that's I-80. Uh, this is I-90. And this is I-94. I-70 is a little bit further south. I believe I'm correct on that. I better be. Um, okay, I didn't check. Uh, so 29,000 uh, pounds. Not, not a huge amount of cash we're gonna get paid for here. Yeah, can you guys get out there so I can sneak out? Thank you. Come on, taxi, what are you doing? Jeez. Why why make the turn and hit you hit your brakes like that for? You're trying to brake check me? Is that what you're doing? Huh? Huh? Oh, that's right. It's only Okay, so it's 30 miles an hour coming in, but 35 miles an hour going out. I got gotcha. you. I just want to get going and knock down some of these miles. And that taxi cab just disappeared right in front of us. Just like that. Let's go over this lane here. That way it's a little bit easier to merge once we get up here. Ouch. Uh, yep, took the corner a little bit too wide. I had my eyes on something else. So you take your eyes out the road for half a second and look what happens. Uh, took no damage though. But I'm uh, pretty sure the fabrication on the left front fender, fender uh, took a little bit of a hit. I was going to say, we're on the road, but we're going to get right off this this road. I don't know what interstate this was going to be. 29, apparently. Come on, short hopper. You got, like, no weight back there. You shouldn't be struggling to get up this little bit of a hill. Sometimes I hate when I'm behind a truck, just like we were right there, and I'm merging out to the interstate and I gotta turn to look to see if there's a car coming. Cause that guy could have stopped right on a dime in front of me in front of me and I would have ran right to the back of him. 75 miles an hour, that's gonna help us out knock out the miles today. But in a couple hours we'll have Sydney get her tablet out and we'll try to find the rest area for us today. Like I said, hopefully we can get down. So it's under 700 miles. Oh, I'm um, doing 83. <laughs> uh, 75, that means I could do 81. 80, 81, we're fine on the speed limit. That's definitely going to knock, help knock out the miles. 
Already this is better because we do have foliage on the side of the road, so it's not just completely barren, uh, I was going to say wasteland. Shouldn't say that about Montana going through like that, but uh, at least it's something. It is something. So level 20 is here. That's step one of the process. Step two of the process now is get to Denver. So we do have three garages. Well, <laughs> I think we'll call it two and a half. We got our garage, which is the small, small garage, the one truck garage in Salt Lake City. Like I said, it's been a while since we've been through there. And then we bought the garage in Alamosa, New Mexico. Uh, that's a three truck garage, a small garage. And then of course we got a small garage in Tucson, Arizona. I always want to say Phoenix, but then I'm going to remind myself, no, it's not Phoenix, it's south of Phoenix, so it's Tucson. And those two garages are the three truck garages, only because I can buy a three truck garage for, is it 90000 But to upgrade it to a five car uh, truck garage is hundred grand. So I can upgrade those garages, but only get two slots for 100000 Or buy a small garage for $10,000 cheaper and get three truck slots. Yeah, so it makes uh, makes sense to me. Just keep buying small garages. I mean, buying the big garage, is the only benefit of that is you get like a fuel tanker uh, where you can fuel up at, and the fuel price should be a little bit cheaper. But really, how often are you stopping at your own garage to fuel up? Now, I guess if you have a garage in every town, and you're like a level 160 at this point, um, you can slowly save yourself some cash on fuel. But if you are at level 170 or whatever, like I'm talking about, you have so much cash. Are you really worried about saving yourself 40, 50 bucks on filling up your truck every time by gassing up your own fuel at your own truck uh, truck stop? It would be nice though if at your own garage when it's upgraded, if you can repair your truck. But in ATS, it doesn't matter because we have insurance on trucks. Now, it's been so long uh, since I did ETS-2. In ETS-2, they don't have insurances on trucks. At least last time I played, but it's been a long time since I've been in ETS-2. So, yeah, when you got to go repair your truck in ETS-2, so say like you got 50% damage on your engine, you got to pay like 40, 50 grand to get it repaired. That could hurt. That could really hurt. On ATS, we have insurance, so most of the time it's like under a grand to get your truck repaired. So three more hours on the clock, and we've taken 125 miles off it. So we are cruising along. While the speed limit here is 80, and I'm doing 81, I could go actually up to like 85 and be fine on speeding, but... You know what, being in a truck and doing 80 miles an hour, I think that's good enough. Uh, we should be able to log in some miles by the end of the day anyhow. But pretty soon here, we'll have to check the map and see where we're going to stop today. Um, I think, I think I, uh, we're going to be just somewhere around Omaha. I better actually get to Omaha today because going across Nebraska, that's like 800, isn't it 800 miles? Let's take it across Nebraska. I think so. So, yeah, we better get to Omaha today at least. And, but as we know, on the coast to coast map, sometimes the rest areas are can be few and far between, so I may not have any choices here. It is 2.30, so I should be checking. All right. Get around this little bit of a bend here, and then uh, we'll check the map and see where I'm going to be stopping in two and a half hours. All right, let's just get the map out. <sighs> Mileage seems a little bit off, because I think going across Nebraska is like 800 miles, isn't it, in real life? All right, so can I get... All right, we'll just mark this for the giggles here. That's six. Okay, I definitely won't be getting that far. I can't make up that much time. Um, 
I mean, I could stop here. That's five and a half hours. All right, that's not going to... Uh-oh. Am I going to have to cheese it a bit today? That's two hours. And that's only 100 miles from now. Uh, yeah, it's not the greatest, uh, but I don't want to really stop. I mean... If I were, because I'm going to have to go to here. Oh, man. That would really, really suck. Uh, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. I think we'll be stopping there. So, not as many hours as I would like to get in. I mean, it's still pretty darn close. We will get another 100 miles off. So, I'll put us like 730 miles to go. But as long as the speed limit stays up where it is, the next day I can definitely chew into it. And today is Tuesday, right? Because they don't expect it until Thursday. So, I mean, even if I don't get there in the next in-game day, that's fine because it's not really due there until a couple days from now. But I'm trying to get to Denver next episode so we can have a little fun buying a garage and, and hiring some drivers and so on and so forth. But it is what it is. It's not the end of the world, like I said. Um, yeah, we're not getting paid that much cash for delivering this load either, but that's not the main part. Uh, so, yeah, once we get to Denver, the next step will be try to find a lo decent load. And it doesn't to, we don't even have to even go that far. Or it can just be passing the city. I can pull in by the garage and do all the hiring there as well. But I would like to space up my garages just a little bit. Just a little bit. But we'll see. First step first, we gotta get to Denver. That'll be maybe next episode. Maybe. If we just put the hammer down, we can get there. We can do it. So we're not even going to make Omaha today, which just seems weird to me. Because I thought going, I, I, if I can remember to do it right after I get done recording, I'm going to Google um, Omaha to Sydney, Nebraska, how long of a trip that is. Because maybe it's only 400 miles. I'm thinking it's 800 miles, but maybe it's only 400. The weird thing is I've driven across to Nebraska twice now, and I, but I think... Um, Anyone that's ever done that is so exciting, isn't it? Uh, just driving across there. I'm not trying to put down Nebraska at all if you're from there. I'm sorry, but just driving across that interstate. Uh, oof. It'd be like driving what we did driving through Montana just a little while ago. Right, I need to get back over that lane because it's about 30 miles or so. Our exit's going to be coming up where we're resting today. 30 in the afternoon. It's kind of uh, burning me a little bit. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. This isn't our exit. Hang on a second. Let's double check here. Oh no, okay. So our exit is right after the interchange of I-90. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure I did check mark that. So I'm glad we were able to find. I mean, I should be grateful we just found the load to Denver. I mean, that was almost like perfect. Um, and then we got to go this way because at least there's been some scenery here. four cars. I probably should have went ahead, but I got time to kill. Uh, the first stop will be the gas station. Fill this up with some diesel fuel. I'm 
I'm going past the fuel station, right? That's why I went this way. Yeah. Looks like it's a Circle K. Is it a Circle K? No, it's a Texaco. Close enough. It's it's around. It's a red circle, right? Close enough. Uh, two twenty six a gallon. Diesel fuel is cheaper around here. And what did I say? I didn't hear it go ding. There it goes. So just under three hundred bucks. Uh, park and brake would be good. I don't know why I keep forgetting that once in a while. Maybe I should uh, pull over and vacuum out the cab of the truck. I mean, seriously, with the traffic here. That's funny. The diesel price out front says two fifty eight. What? I don't know who's honking their horn. If there's so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta wait for traffic to clear out, people. I don't know who's honking their horn, but uh... yeah, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. All right. So is the garage off this road here, or that road there? Almost cut in front. There's a garage here. I didn't even look. Are we in Sioux City? Is that where we are? I'm not going to repair the truck, but I'm going to take up all the parking spaces over here. Back it in kind of nicely. I'm pretty sure the uh, truck, the, the repair shop won't mind. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to back it. This is not really made for trailers and such, I don't think. But I'm going to try to get it in here somewhat nice. There we go. Park it right here. Engine off. An hour early, but, you know, I don't think uh, there's not much we can do about it. Um, let's go to this check. Not the job market. Sorry. I want the world map. I mean, yeah, because the next stop would be Omaha. And there's no way I could get there. That's like three a three-hour trip, so that's not going to happen. All right, just curious. When we get to Denver... Where is the garage in Denver? So I'm kind of going past the garage. So we'll deliver, have to deliver the Costco's and then just turn around and should be able to get off here and go by the garage. And um, is there a... Are you telling me there's not a truck? There's not, there's not a truck dealer in, in near Denver? Okay, so there's one in Denver. Denver's a pretty big city. Uh, so maybe what we'll do to try to keep it a little bit more realistic, since there's a truck dealer right in Denver, we're gonna buy internationals. Um, so let's go ahead. I, I was right there, why just, why didn't I just, mm -hmm. uh, so what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go buy online. So it looks like 119,000 is kind of the cheapest one that they sell. So what do we got there? We got like the cheapest cab, the cheapest chassis. Um, a 400 horsepower engine's not bad. Transmission, I don't care about. The paint jobs, we don't care about. So I'll probably just buy some internationals for the Denver garage. I will go ahead and change the paint scheme because I can buy one red. All the paint colors seem to be the same price. So... We'll just buy three different kind of colored trucks. I'm going to buy them all the same colored truck because they'll make them, make them feel a little bit special. Uh, but I think those will be the trucks that we buy for our drivers. So not too bad there. 
But as for us, we have hit level 20. Let's go ahead and now check on our driver manager. Um, Harry P. Um, he's still making a dollar ten a mile. I, I I don't know what he's doing. Um, now he's going back to the East Coast again. What are you hauling? Ventilation shaft. Those don't pay much. I don't know why you're, you're not. Just let it go, Peanut. Just let it go. I know. He's just like taking the cheapest ones available to him. Um, she's hauling tires, which can pay rather well. But I mean, she's getting she's getting two forty eight a mile. I mean, he's almost like fifty cents less than everyone else. Well, I mean, okay, but yeah, I I don't know. Uh, anyways, I, I should be looking at when they're getting deliveries done. So he won't be done tomorrow. Uh, that's one delivery done tomorrow. That'll be two. So that's 23 hours. So technically, by the time we get to Denver tomorrow, hopefully, that'll be two deliveries. Three deliveries. Three deliveries will be done tomorrow. That's not too bad. So a little bit of money coming in. Uh, we're actually up to $61,000 in our bank account. But obviously, we're going to be borrowing a million dollars and uh, having some fun with it. That's for darn sure. Um, but yeah, we are on our way to Denver with uh, Fargo uh, curtains. Uh, I forgot where we're hauling, but curtains, 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 curtains. I was going to get and check to see if I could do the paint job on the Mac, but I don't want to. I'm not going to show it to you until we do it. Um, but back into our lovely little truck. Step on outside. Lovely little parking job here in Sioux City. I'm trying to think, are we, are we in, <laughs> where are we, what state are we in here? I'm drawing a blank. Sioux, oh, it's, oh, we're not in Sioux City, we're in Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That's where we are. I was like, Sioux City, isn't that, I, I think there's a Sioux City in Iowa. Uh, but we're in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Anyways, that's where we're parking it for tonight. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll get to Denver. And, uh expand our business but anyways that's gonna do it for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode i do appreciate you watching as always i'll catch you again right here in american truck simulator with realistic economy but until then have a good one